Welcome back to school. This is school year 2020, 2021. Yeah. And this could have been your classroom if everything is normal. But situations are different right now, so we will adapt to the situations. And because of that, you know, classes could be phase one remote learning or phase two hybrid. So it all depends, but for the meantime, whether we're doing working at home or seeing you in class, I will need to require the following. Take note, I will need the following. Number one, we will talk about math school supplies. And number two, we will talk about remote learning home setup. So supplies, I will be needing you to bring a math graph ruled notebook. Okay, you don't need to bring it. Of course, if it's we're doing remote, you just leave it at home, use it at home. So we need a graph notebook because the graphs or the grids will help us do a lot of graphs, tables, data gathering, geometric figures. This will be helpful. It's not an ordinary notebook. It has to be graph ruled. Number two, you will also need a plastic folder to put in all the handouts that you receive from me. Okay, so a plastic folder and it should be labeled on the left current worksheets and labeled on the right the old worksheets so you put in the handout depending on what type it is on the right side for the old worksheets everything should be arranged in date order okay label them with permanent markers next mechanical pencils okay mechanical pencils our specification is 0 0.7 you could buy the cheap ones but i'm telling you it won't last long you could buy the better quality ones but it will last long and also of course label them with your name so that once we're in the classroom we could easily identify who owns it and also be sure to buy extra lead refills of the same specification 0 0.7 you will also need a one foot ruler and a small protractor obviously for making lines and the protractor is for making angles, the small one, not the big protractor, okay? Next, you will also need a scientific calculator. The scientific calculator, the suggested one is PI30XA. I need it specifically this brand, Texas Instruments, so that we will be having uniformity in our classroom. Why? It has exponents, scientific notation. We can work with operations with fractions, right? Fractions made easy. And square roots plus many more functions. So PI 30XA calculator. You will also need to do the setup in your classroom, in your in your classroom at home. Okay. You'll be making a mini classroom at home. So parents, ask your parents to help you set this up. Furnitures, be sure you have a study desk, a dedicated study desk for studying, a chair, of course, and a study lamp, adequate lighting. Okay, next, number two, be sure you have your electronic device. Either it's a PC, a laptop, a tablet, or a cell phone, whatever is available. And if you have difficulty securing these electronic devices, feel free to call up the school and we could see what we could do to help you about this one. Next, naturally, you will need internet connection. And again, if you have problem with internet connection, call up the school for assistance. I will also ask you to have that table organized by having a bin or a container with pens, pencils, colored pens, markers, calculator, rulers, or whatever um, school supplies, your teachers, required of you. Be sure they're readily accessible for you. You will also need printed materials like notebooks, books, and handouts. Be sure it's near you, it's, it's beside you in a bookcase or something, so there's easy access for all these printed materials. What else? You should also have paper supply. Be sure you have copy paper and loose leaves so that when needed, you can easily access them and use it use it while learning and also these are optional if you could have a printer at home that's the best okay because sometimes you'll be giving 
teachers will be giving you electronic resources and if it's better for you to to read it or to uh, answer it in printed form definitely you need a printer okay but it's optional again and number two a smartphone i think this is easy because this will be used for scanning electronic materials or maybe taking videos of some of for some of your assignments okay so those are my suggested supplies and classroom setup good luck for this coming school year see you bye